Hey, Kelly Ritchie here. This is my fourth and final tip in this little series on bad habits that um, self-taught guitar players can have. And it's practice routine. You can practice hours and hours and hours. You'll probably play, maybe have some fun, get frustrated, learn pieces of parts of songs. More often than not, almost across the board, develop bad habits from what I've seen. Again, you get frustrated and you set the guitar down for a while, you pick it back up and try again. You want a guitar teacher that's going to help you, one, identify any bad habits, identify any weaknesses, you know, give you material or instruction that's obviously going to correct those things and move you forward, getting you playing what it is that you want to play. But they've got to give you a strong practice routine. There's a difference between practice and playing. When you're practicing, you want to be learning things that are going to help you build a solid foundation in general, plus correct any bad habits, fill in the holes for anything that you don't know, and structure your time appropriately. Now, I ask my students to practice, and I mean practice, really hard work, 20 minutes a day. Warm up with finger exercises, then whatever song they're playing, the main song that they've got in the queue that they're learning, you know, play through it once. Anything that's weak, chunk that down and work on that section, play through it again. And then if they want to be a lead player, whatever key that song's in, practice with a metronome or ideally a rhythm track, playing your pentatonics or whatever scales you're using back and forth. So, Kelly Ritchie, hopefully this series has been helpful. You can find me at kellyritchie.com or Guitar Lessons by KellyRitchie.com. You can take weekly Skype lesson, bi-weekly, monthly, but I've got a whole instructional video series, that 250 videos, that teaches beginning, intermediate, advanced players, rhythm, lead, you name it. All right, take care. Thanks so much.